Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, it looks like CNET went ahead and put the Galaxy Fold 3 and the Galaxy Flip 3 to the ultimate water test, seeing does it truly stand up and hold up to its IP8 rating. Well, let's go ahead and talk about that. So like I said, yes, it looks like CNET wanted to see if these phones actually held up to the IP rating. And to be honest, it looks like for the most part, they actually did. So the two tests they went ahead and used for the Galaxy Fold 3 and Flip 3 was submerging the phones into five feet of water. Now they did this for exactly 30 minutes to see would they still work after being submerged to exactly what they are recommended that the IP8 rating can go up to, which of course is submerged five feet into water water or up to one meter for 30 minutes or less and after going ahead and doing both those tests on both phones what we saw was one simple issue actually and that was the fingerprint reader on the galaxy fold 3 was not quite working 100 percent and also of course there was a lot of water in the speaker grill down here and it was not sounding perfect now of course after a couple minutes of time and after time went by we saw that that quickly went back to normal the fingerprint reader did work perfectly fine and after you dried out the phone a little bit more the speaker grill also went back to perfection without any issues same concept did happen to the galaxy flip 3 so both phones seem to be after one test of a five uh, of a 30 minute five feet dive both phones did survive obviously having minor issues that they did recover from very quickly but that is still something to take in consideration that yes even though these are ip8 ratings you might still have some issues if you do get water in either the speaker grill or on the fingerprint reader now the second test they did for the galaxy fold 3 and flip 3 was of course a swim test so they went ahead and dived into a pool and swam around with these phones underwater taking different pictures video all that kind of good stuff now what we saw was that the lenses as the deeper they got the lenses became less and less clear but still were able to be utilized and used underwater even though again this is deeper than the ip rating suggests now after they went ahead and did that they went ahead then and tested to see how they did work and the microphone on the fold 3 actually worked perfectly fine but like i said before you probably guessed it the speaker grill had too much water in it and it did not work perfectly fine now like i said after a little bit of time that went back to normal the fingerprint reader also had an issue and both phones did survive very very well even though they are only recommended that you go up to five feet of water and no more than that so what this test does go and show us is that ip8 rating is a hundred percent justified and there's no issue when it comes to utilizing this phone on a daily basics yes you still have to be careful of the inner display of this phone but when it comes to any kind of water resistance you don't have to be scared you don't have to baby this phone and that's absolutely amazing the reason why you don't have to baby this phone guys is because samsung actually went ahead and put a liquid uh, material in these phones where it actually stops any water from getting inside of them so yes even though these phones have so many hinges so many gaps so many holes that you might think wow this phone could easily get destroyed by water because of that liquid material it actually prevents these phones from actually getting destroyed by being submerged into water now it does not mean you can submerge these phones in the water up to 10 meters 20 meters 30 meters what it means is that if you are in a rainstorm and you're utilizing this phone, you don't have to worry about this phone being destroyed. Or if, for example, what we saw on CNET, it looks like if you drop your phone into water real fast, let's say a swimming pool by accident, and you get it out very quickly, as long as you let the phone dry, it looks like the Galaxy Flip 3 and Fold 3 can be submerged a little bit past that five, you know, feet, uh, 
uh, depth, but it does mean at the same time though, like I said, you have to let it dry. And at the same time, you're not going to be able to use the phone for a little bit of time. So overall, I will say that's a really cool information and really cool, awesome thing they did. I was kind of waiting to see who would be the first person to really submerge their brand new $2,000 phone or $1,000 phone into a water like deeper than again, five feet. And it looks like CNET definitely went ahead and took the odds and took took the chances overall that makes me love this phone even more thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out